Hi friends, I am Dr. Nutan Prakash Vishwakarma from Department of Biotechnology, Atme University. And today I am going to discuss a very simple topic that is set concept. This concept is very important and the questions related with the set is asked in many examination. Maybe it is banking in 11th, 12th, obviously the uh, set concept is the part of 11th, 12th the NDA examination, the MC related entrance examination. So this set concept is very common and if you know the set concept, it is going to help you to understand the concept of permutation, combination and probability as well. So without much delay, let's start the set concept. So first is, uh, first of all, let's understand what is the set. So what we are going to discuss in this particular video is definition of set, properties of set, set representation, types of set, Venn diagram and operations on set. So the set concept was uh, given by one scientist. The name of the scientist was George Cantor. He was a German mathematician and he created the set theory. So what is set? Set is a well defined collection of objects. If I give an example, say for example, I want to create the set for alphabets or set for vowels only. So all the alphabets like, like A, E, I, O, U makes the set of vowels and all the, all the objects in a particular set is known as element of the set. So if I make a set of vowels, so the set A, A means vowels you can interpret. So set of vowels equal to A, E, I, O, U and all the elements in a particular set are kept in the bracket. Second example, set of first six prime number. So if I want to make the set, that will be like 2, 3, 5, 7 and 11. Prime number are those numbers which are divided by themselves only and by 1. So just for example, take 2. So 2 is divided by itself and by 1 also. None other number can divide 2. Take the example of 3. So 3 is divided by itself and divided by 1. So prime numbers are those numbers which can not be divided by themselves and uh, 1. Right. So 3 can be divided by 3 and by 1. None other number can divide 3. Right. So 2, 3, 5, 7 and 11. What are the different properties of set? Sets are always denoted by capital letter. Just like I uh, in my previous slide, I shown you that I have to prepare the set for uh, vowels. So at that time, I represented set capital A. OK, so whenever you have to represent the set, it always should be represented by capital letter like set notation is like you can represent by capital A, capital B, capital C and capital D. And number, properties number two is elements, all the elements of the set are denoted by small letter. Just like small a, D, F, G. Here the other example like set A equal to X, Y, V, B and H. Property number three is if X is element of capital A, suppose I have a capital A, the set uh, that is uh, represented by capital A and a small x is uh, the uh, element which is present in the set A, then we can write down as that x belongs to set A, right? So here you can see if this is the set A and these are some elements of this set A, so I can see that x belongs to capital A or set A. So property number four. If X does not belong to, if X is not an element of capital A, we can write as X does not belong to capital A. Simple. If A is a, say for example, if capital is a set of days in a week, so obviously you know, if A is a set of days in a week, then obviously Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday will be the element of this particular set. So in that case, I can say that Monday belongs to capital A. However, if I write down January, so obviously January is not the name of the day. So obviously you can say that January does not belongs to capital A or set A. 
and one more property of the set while you are writing the set each element is written only once say for example i will i will let you know later on next property is order of element is doesn't is not important at all say for example if set a is there then uh, then set a have uh, six, five elements like 1 2 3 4 5 now it's up to me if i write down, write down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or i also can write down 5 2 3 4 1 it doesn't means order doesn't matter while you are writing the set so how you can represent the set there are very, uh, mainly two methods to represent the set the number me number one method is the roster method or tabular method or listing method these are some synonyms so i will pronounce it as a roster method so in the roster method what we do simply just like i have previously shown all elements of the set are listed each element separated by comma and enclosed within brackets say for example set c equal to everything all the elements of the set will be written in the bracket separated by comma so this is the simple uh, roster method say for example another set t equal to monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday so this is simply known as roster or tabular method say for example another the set of all vowels equal to a small a e i o u so the set of all is second example the set of all natural number which divide 42 say you have to prepare you have to make a set in which uh, the set of all natural number which divide 42 so obviously by 1 you can divide to 40 to 2 by 2 you can divide to 42 3 6 7 14 21 and 42 so all these numbers are the elements of this particular set so in roster form how we can write down no so i just i previously told you that order is doesn't matter like 1 2 3 6 7 14 21 and 42 likewise i also can change like i can write down 1 3 7 21 21 right i can jumbled these all the elements that doesn't going to make up any problem and the second example the set of all vowels mainly many time i told you like a e i o u so if i jumbled all these a e i o u so first of all i can write down u then o then a then e that doesn't make any uh, problem okay uh, property number 3 is and in the point number 3 is the set of odd natural number say i have to represent the set of odd natural number i can write down 1 3 5 7 so and so far why it is so and so far because if i have to represent the set of odd natural number so obviously you know odd natural numbers that is how much number you will write 1 3 5 7 9 9 means infinite type of number you have to write so in that case we can we can put two dots so it is simply uh, says that 1 3 5 7 and so far okay so the dot tell us that the list of odd number continue indefinitely so it may be noted that while writing the set in roster form an element is not generally repeated just i already told you all the elements are taken as distinct say for example here i am giving the example uh, just previously i you know just given the one example that uh, let me thus uh, let me show you just one uh, concept i told you like each element is written once no the question, uh, the property number 5 each element is written once so let's understand it while you are dealing with the roster form say for example you have to make the set of letters for which form the word school all right so let me write down in the form of the set so what i have to do first i will write down the s then c then h and i told you that each element should be written only once so since o repeated twice so we are not going to repeat it i will write only once o and then l and i already told you the order of the element doesn't matter so if i jumbled these uh, alphabets that is not going to create any problem so i can write down as well h o l c s the only thing is that you don't have to repeat the number of the elements all right the second method is a rule method or set builder method just like uh, before i go for this one i would like to give one example just like i have you have to make a set of odd natural number so all the odd, odd natural numbers are indefinite no 1 3 5 7 9 so how much you will write 
so in the there are, there are two methods to represent the set the first one is the roster method and the second one is the set builder method once you have the infinite number or you have the finite number number certain numbers you have to write in that case you have to, you can represent the set in the roster form however if numbers are too much are indefinite in that case you can represent the set in the set builder form although it is not necessary you can represent in both in the roster form or in the set builder form but it is more convenient once you have indefinite number or more numbers of number of elements in a set in that case you should prefer to set builder form and once you have the definite number or low number of elements in that case roster form is more appropriate all right so so how you can represent like rule method or set builder method all elements of set possess a common property so rather than writing the name of each and every element what we do we write down the characteristics of the elements so for example i am giving you the example suppose you have to represent the set of natural numbers so you know the natural numbers natural numbers are those numbers uh, apart from uh, like uh, imaginary number like infinite you know, right uh, all other numbers are natural number okay so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 like all numbers in the minus and all numbers in the plus comes under the natural number so is it possible for anybody to write down all the natural numbers in a particular set obviously it is very difficult so what you can write down minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so on and so forth 1 2 through so on and so forth so rather than writing in the roster form the set of natural numbers if i can write down the set suppose the name of the set i kept here uh, k so how i can write down the set of all x it is very important how you can read read this the set of all x such that this line means such that in some books you will find the colon okay so how you can pronounce it the set of all x such that x is a natural number okay so the set of all x in which x is what x is a natural number so simply here you don't have to write down the minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on so once the element are indefinite in that case you can go ahead with the set builder method okay i, I already discussed that uh, colon can be in on the place of this particular line so so another example if you have one set that is t so that the set of all y such that y is season of the year so you don't have to write down the name of the seasons right simply you can write down y is season of the year second example say you have to write down the set of blood group in the set builder method so rather than writing a b o and a b you can write down in the set builder form the set h equal to the set of all x such that x is a blood type so automatically a b o and a b comes in that right so in set builder form all the element of a set possesses a single common property which is not possessed by any element outside the set another example in the set a e i o u all the element possesses a common property namely each of them is a vowel in the english alphabet and no other element letter possesses this property so if we denote this uh, set by capital v we can write as v equal to the set of all x such that x is a vowel in english alphabet so here in the set builder form you don't have to write a e i o u all right so the second example see suppose you have to write down the set uh, you have to write down the set in the form of the set builder method so the set of all x such that x is a vowel of the english alphabet so in the description the braces stand for the set of all as already explained the colon stand for such that for example the set how we can read this how we can read this the set a equal to the set of all x such that x is a natural number and which lies between 3 and 10 now if this is the representation of set a in the set builder form if i have to write down in the roster form then how i can write down i can write down 3 between 3 to 10 no so 
the x the value of x lies between 3 to 10 so what will be the value in the roster form that will be 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 all right so which type of uh, questions may be asked in the examination maybe in the examination the roster form have been given to you and it can be asked that you convert into set builder form or vice versa so let's take some examples okay so some more examples we can uh, you can check it out here if we denote the set described in a b and c above in roster form or uh, then capital a b c can also be represented in set builder form as like the set of all x such that x is a natural number which divide 42 so if i want to write down in the roster form then what will be the value 1 3 7 likewise you have to you, you just can refer the previous slide the set b equal to the set of all y such that y is a vowel in the english alphabet okay so if i want to write down in the roster form so what will be the value a e i o u the set c equal to the set of all z such that z is an odd natural number so value will be like in roster form 1 3 5 7 9 so on and so forth so here i am giving you one more example so let's take one more example in which the you have to convert the value of set builder form into roster form right so write the set the set of all x such that x is a positive integer and the x square value should be less than 40 so very simple if you want to write down then the roster form it means clearly it clearly shows that if you square the value of x it should not exceed 40 so if i square the value of 1 obviously it is going to be 1 for 2 it is 14 for 3 it is 9 for 4 it is 16 for 5 it is 25 for 6 it is 36 and if i keep 7 so it is going to be 49 all right so obviously 7 should not be there so what i can write down i can write down this set the element of the the elements of the set is 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is the roast form let's take another example write the set a equal to 149 something so on and so forth in set builder form so here you have to write down the value is given in the roast form and you have to represent in the set builder form so how what uh, logic you can create here you can see we may write the set a as the set of all x such that x is the square of a natural number because i told you know the natural number uh, apart from uh, the uh, imaginary number like um, uh, infinite and all all numbers are the natural numbers so here simply in the set builder form i can write down the set of all x such that x is the square of a natural number alternatively how we can write down we can write also write down the set of all a equal to the set of uh, all x such that x equal to n square where n belongs to capital n means n is what n is natural number so let's take another example say here, uh, match each of the set on the left described in the roster form with the same set on the right described in the set builder form you have to match so here uh, some uh, elements of the uh, set is given to you like p r i n c a l and you have to match it with this one okay so let's find out so if i write down the uh, the answer of this one will be principal means you can see write down the set of all x such that x is a letter of the word principal so if i write down the set of this principal so obviously you know that p is repeating twice so i have to write down in only once so i have written it only once then r then i n c i is already written so a and l so first match with d okay so this is the correct answer what about the second one in the second one you can see second is matching with 0 0 when you get the 0 so x is an integer and x plus 1 equal to 1 so if you this plus 1 if you keep it right side so x equal to 1 minus 1 will be 0 so second will be matching with the small c i mean this this uh, option 
what about this one 1 2 3 6 9 and 18 so third should match with the set of all x such that x is a positive integer and is a divisor of 18 now the only option left is fourth so obviously fourth is going to be matched with the b the set of all x such that x is an integer and x square minus 9 equal to 0 so if i keep this minus 9 in right side so value will be x square equal to 9 and the value of x will be plus 3 or minus 3 so that's how it is matched so i hope uh, the uh, concept of the set and uh, the set builder form and roster form is clear to you and now you will be able to change the roster form and set builder form the take home message is as i already told you once you have that definite number of elements in the set you can prefer the roster form and if the numbers are indefinite you can represent the set in the set builder form although it is not necessary you can write down you can opt any of the method so that's all for today i will see the next concept in the next video thank you all